Today we're making the most perfect classic apple pie to welcome the fall season. This pie features a sweet apple filling packed inside a delicious flaky homemade pie crust. Make sure you save and share this recipe because this is the only apple pie recipe you will ever need. Choose your apples. You will need roughly 6 to 7 large apples. I like to use a mix for the best flavor. Granny Smith, Gala, Golden Delicious and Pink Lady will all be sweet, tart and will hold their shape. I love this apple gadget for removing apple cores. So if you bake a lot with apples, it will make your life so much easier. Remove the cores of 7 apples. Then use a paring knife to remove the skin. Quarter them with a large knife, then slice them thinly. The secret to the best apple pie is to cook the apples in a skillet with butter and the best fall spices. We need to cook out some of the water to let the apple flavor shine. In a large skillet over medium-high heat, melt one stick of butter. Add four tablespoons of flour and mix it in. Stir frequently for one minute to cook the flour and ensure there are no lumps. Zest one lemon and squeeze the juice of that lemon directly into your pan. Mix it in until it forms a thick paste, roughly one to two minutes. Now add a quarter cup of water, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of granulated white sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and stir it to combine. Cook on medium-low until you obtain a caramel consistency, roughly two to three minutes. Love this color, and the lemon zest smells amazing. Keep an eye on it, you don't want it to burn or turn into a paste. Add your sliced apples and gently mix until this delicious sauce is coated all over your apples. Continue cooking for 5 to 10 minutes on medium-low heat. Remove from the heat and let the apples completely cool at room temperature. Let's make the homemade flaky pie crust. In a food processor, combine 2.5 cups of all-purpose flour, 2 tablespoons of sugar, and half a teaspoon of salt. Pulse a few times just to combine. Take 2 sticks of cold butter straight out of the fridge and slice it into small cubes. Add the butter to your food processor and pulse a few times until coarse crumbs form. If you have a food processor, the whole process of pie dough making will take you seconds. If you don't, that's totally okay. You can easily make this dough by hand and it will take you no longer than 5 minutes. Click the video in the right upper corner to watch a full tutorial on how to make a perfect pie crust by hand. Turn the food processor on high and add 6 tablespoons of ice water. And ice is the key in getting that perfect crust. Adding 1 tablespoon at a time until clumps of dough form. Don't add too much water, otherwise your dough will be sticky and difficult to roll. As soon as you see it clumping, your dough is ready. Immediately transfer it to a plastic wrap layered on your counter and start folding it until the dough comes together. Divide the dough in half and shape it around like a disc.
The easiest way to shape your dough is to transfer it to a plastic wrap and fold it around until it becomes a disc. Refrigerate for at least one hour or up to three days. If you like to bake pies and galettes like I do, you can make big batches of pie crust and freeze it up to three months. Our dough has been in the fridge for roughly one hour and it's now ready to roll. This is also a perfect time to preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Dust a little flour on your work surface and sprinkle more flour on your rolling pin. Start by rolling gently, applying pressure gradually as the disc starts to flatten. Roll away from the middle. The easiest way to transfer a pie dough is to roll it over your rolling pin and carefully place it over your baking dish. Transfer your completely cooled apple mixture inside your pie dish. Now roll the second pie disc, repeating the same process. Using a knife or a pizza cutter, slice 10 inch strips of dough and place five strips of dough horizontally over the pie filling with the longer strips in the center and the shorter strips towards the edges. Fold back the second and the fourth strips halfway and place a long vertical strip of dough in the center. Fold the strips back over the new line, then fold back the alternate strips, the first, third, and the fifth. Continue adding and alternating strips, then switch to the other side of the pie until the lattice is complete on the right side and not quite finished on the left side. We will create a beautiful fall design that is super easy and will make your pie look beautiful and creative. This is a perfect way to use your dough scraps. Take these leaf cutters and firmly press to create cutouts of dough. Next step is to tuck in the excess dough behind the bottom pie crust. Crimp the crust edges by pushing the dough out with your index finger and at the same time pushing and pinching the dough around it with the thumb and forefinger of your other hand. Repeat all the way around the edge. Arrange the leaf cutters on one side of your pie and let your creativity guide you. You can completely replace the leaf with the lattice design. This is beautiful. Right before putting it in the oven, brush the crust of your pie with egg wash, which is nothing but an egg yolk mixed with one tablespoon of milk. Sprinkle with sugar and transfer to a 425 degrees Fahrenheit preheated oven. Bake in the center of the oven for 15 minutes, then reduce the heat to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and continue baking another 45 minutes or until the apples are soft and the filling is bubbling. You will know the pie is done when the edges are brown and the center is lightly golden brown. Oh my, this is so beautiful and it smells amazing. Rest at room temperature for a minimum of four hours or best overnight. I know, I know, being patient is not your virtue. It's not mine either, especially when it comes to apple pie. But if you cut into it now, the juices will be lava hot and your slice will not hold any shape and it will completely fall apart. Once the pie is completely cool, slice and serve. I left mine overnight. And here it is, the perfect slice. I cannot share enough how amazing and delicious this apple pie is.
Cooking the apples on the skillet in that mouth-watering caramel sauce makes all the difference in the world. The best part that this dessert can easily be made ahead. The bottom is never soggy but forms a crispiness at the edges which doesn't get any better. This is the only apple pie recipe you will ever need. Enjoy! See you next time!